Airbus A321 XLR still on track for 2023 launch. Recently, Airbus gave an update on the progress that it's making on its A321 XLR program. Despite the global health crisis rocking the aviation industry, the manufacturer remains on course to have the jet ready by 2023. The aircraft has proven to be a hit since it was announced at last year's Paris Air Show. Altogether, 24 airlines have ordered over 450 A321 XLRs. With a range of up to 4,700 nautical miles and a 30% lower fuel burn per seat compared with previous generation competitors, carriers are flocking to the jet to tackle several of their routes. The European outfit shared that at the beginning of the year, the first long lead components for the initial flight test aircraft were already in production. These parts include the main landing gear forgings and the first parts for the center wing box. Last month, the company confirmed the suppliers for the major components for the narrow body. Airbus had specifically selected the below firms. Spirit Aero Systems for inboard single-slotted flap, Deal Aviation, potable water and water waste systems, FACC for modified belly fairing, Premium Aerotech for rear center fuel tank primary structure, Collins Aerospace for fuel system, Parker Aerospace for fuel tank inerting system, Vincorian for heated floor panels, Safran for main and nose landing gear, and Triumph Group for landing gear uplock mechanism. Airbus will heavily rely on modern technology to help during the next stage of production. Digital services will play a huge part in completing the project. In anticipation of the industrialization phase where relevant, the program is applying Airbus's new Digital Design Manufacturing and Services DDMS, product lifestyle approach. This enables accurate virtual factory simulations to validate investments and ramp up planning, Airbus said on its website. A key pillar of the DDMS framework is the 3D Digital Mockup Unit or DMU database, which will allow concurrent design, assembly simulations, and real time 3D visibility across the transnational co design plateaus at Toulouse, Hamburg, and Filton. Additionally, the program brings the advantages of 3D visualization to the non engineering community including managers who can now work in 3D thanks to new viewer tools. Altogether, despite being forced to halt production at several of its sites over the last few weeks, the firm is not showing any signs of slowing down the completion of the A321 XLR. Once the downturn in passenger activity is over, carriers will be eager to get their services going once again. Therefore, the jet should be ready just in time for when operations are stronger again. A spokesperson confirmed that the aircraft will still hit the market in 2023. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.